Hello, and welcome to the latest release of Vixen Lights 3.12. The development team is excited to introduce all the new features and improvements you will be able to take advantage of. There are 72 updates in this release, including 8 new features, 28 enhancements, and 36 issues are corrected. We have added the ability to rotate any element. We're in the Setup Previews screen of Vixen, and we'll add a simple element like an arch. And after we add it, if we reselect it, notice there's a new handle up here of a white dot. If we place the cursor over the dot, notice the cursor changes to a double head rotation arrow. Click and hold the left mouse button, and as you move the cursor around, the element now rotates around its midpoint. We can do this on other, as, such as the pixel grid. And same thing, if you select it, the dots up here, put the cursor over the top of it, click and hold the left mouse button, and the element rotates. In addition to the mouse, you can also manually change the angle of rotation by coming down to the properties window. There's a new line called rotation angle, and we can set the rotation angle to anything within 360 degrees. So for example, zero sets it back to uh, straight. We can go to, let's say 45 degrees, here's an angle, and any angle you can think of up to 360 degrees. If you come down here to the rotation angle, as we rotate the element, also notice that this angle changes. Effects can be connected and jointly moved in the sequence editor, similar to functionality previously found in the marks bar. In the time sequence editor, we have a test element with two effects colored red and green, just for simplicity's sake. If we put the cursor over the left side of the red, notice it changes to a double-headed arrow, as always. And if we click and hold the left mouse button and we move the mouse left and right, the effect changes its duration. However, if we additionally hold the Alt key down and click the left mouse button, notice how the red effect joins with the green effect and now both of them move together simultaneously. If we now add a third effect, colored blue for this example, and do the same thing. We'll select the red effect, click and hold the Alt key while clicking and holding the left mouse button, and notice it joins with just the blue effect and not the green effect as the blue effect was a later time. So it connects with the latest, latest most element. As we continue sliding this, notice how since it did not connect with the green effect, but is connected with the blue effect, the blue and red change, but the green remains at the same duration. Now notice how the green and blue effect end at the same time. So if we select the red effect, hold down the Alt key, click the left mouse button, Notice how the red joins with both the blue and the green simultaneously. After inserting a new element, the cursor automatically returns to selection mode. In the Setup Preview screen, if we select an element to add, for example, let's say the star, we'll click it. And notice how the cursor changes to a crosshairs to indicate insert mode. Click and hold the left mouse button, and we insert a star. When we release the left mouse button, and we have added a new element, the cursor changes back to an arrow, now indicating we are in select mode. So if we select this element, we can move it or do something. Previously, Vixen stayed in insert mode, and every time you click the mouse, that previous element would be reinserted. An option has been added to the text effect to allow a scrolling line of text to stop after the last character is shown. 
rather than scrolling off the display. Previously, in Setup Previews, I added a matrix element. Now in the Time Sequence Editor, we'll add a text effect. We'll extend the time a little bit. And we'll put in some text. In the display preview, we can see how the text scrolls off of the end of the matrix element. If we click end stop and rewatch the display, we can see how the text stops when the last character is displayed. Added a new option to lock a mark bar to avoid accidental changes. In the time sequence editor, I have an element with one effect and two marks. Notice we can select each mark and move them. Over here in the mark collection window, if I check mark the lock for the blue marks, notice that I cannot move the mark the blue mark, but I can still move the red mark. When doing a bulk effects move, an option has been added to additionally include marks along with that move. So here in the time sequence editor, I have two elements along with two effects and some marks. I'll select tools, bulk effect moves, and I'm going to move the effects uh, this yellow effect that's between times two and five. And I'll move it forward two seconds. If I click the OK, just this yellow will move. But I also want to move these marks that are tied to this. So I'll select the include marks. And when I click OK, the yellow, this green, and this red will now move forward two seconds. And as with the previous setup, I'll move the marks forward. But this time, I'm going to lock the green mark by selecting the checkbox under the lock column. I'll do tool bulk effect moves. I'll move between two and five seconds. I'll move it two seconds forward, select include marks, and click OK. Notice how the green mark will not move. And returning to our configuration, this time we'll do a bulk move, but we're going to hide the red marks by clicking the unshow. We'll do the same thing. We'll move from two to five. We'll move it forward two. We will include marks, but we'll also check mark process visible rows only and click OK. We can see the yellow and the green move, but if we show the red, we can see the red did not move. We added a new tool to automatically create evenly spaced marks within a specified time window. In the time sequence editor, we'll create multiple evenly spaced marks. We'll select tools, create even marks, and we'll go from, let's say, two to three seconds, and I want to create four divisions. Move this to four and select OK. And we can see there are now four divisions between two and three, and it created a new mark collection called Four Divisions. The pattern effect has been enhanced to now include a brick pattern type. Previously, in Setup Previews, I created a matrix element. In the Time Sequence Editor, we can see that here. I will take a pattern effect and drop it on top of this. And over here in the Effect Editor, in the Pattern Type, I will move it down to Brick. And we can see in the Setup Display, we can see the Brick pattern is now showing. We can change the speed, the rotation, brick height, width, mortar, and even the colors further. You can now lock out element access so that it cannot be inadvertently selected. Preview configuration, I have added two elements, an arch 
and a star. We can select either item and move it. When I select one and then right click on that, there's a new option called lock. Notice how it will change from green to red, which indicates it is locked, which you can see down here. Now I can no longer select this element. I can still select the unlocked element. I can move this one around, but because I cannot select the star, it cannot be moved. To reselect it, hold down the shift key while selecting the prompt. Then you can right click and choose unlock. These features are also available from the edit menu to lock. Hold down the shift key, select, and we can select unlock. We can also select unlock all if at least one element is locked. The user experience of changing time values has been improved. Within Vixen, wherever there is a time entry field, you can see that it has been improved to allow simpler input or modifications of time. For example, here in the time sequence editor, we can see an element with an effect. We'll select edit time. And here we can see the revised time entry field. We can select the up arrow or down arrow to increase the blue highlighted time. We can also select up or down arrow to increase or decrease the time. And we can also select left and right to move the blue highlight to a different field. Notice it jumps over the period, which is not modifiable. If we hold the Alt key and select with an arrow, the time will go to the greatest value at that position. So for instance, here we see 1.24. If I hit Alt up arrow, notice the time jumps to the greatest value of 1.99. Consequently, if we hit Alt down arrow, it will go to the minimum time of that window, one second. If we hold the control key and use an arrow, it will go to the greatest maximum time for just the blue highlight. So if we hit control up arrow here, it will go to nine, control down goes to zero. And in the release notes, we can see a full listing of all of the improvements and enhancements that is in Vixen 3.12. The developers of Vixen Lights version 3.12 are excited for you to try our latest release. As always, we continually solicit for your feedback of enhancements, improvements, or new ideas. Thank you.